Well, to me, a humanitarian is someone who is compassionate. A humanitarian is a servant leader. Someone who truly cares. A humanitarian is concerned about the well-being of others. A person who engages, supports other people and helps them to become their very best. Everything that I am, I hope to be, I owe to my grandmother. Parents have an obligation to raise kids. Uh, grandparents make a choice, and my grandmother chose me. James is James Bennett, and James grew up in a small town in Sheraw, South Carolina. Anytime he sits down to tell you about his upbringing in Sheraw, South Carolina, it's usually going to be a lengthy story and a great one. You know, at first glance, though, James was the typical child. But as you uh, began to notice him and see him further, you noticed he was definitely atypical. I've often told a story uh, that I was captain of the junior varsity basketball team. And my grandmother that I mentioned earlier, she said, if you don't think you can make a living playing basketball, you need to go to work. I, I really saw something great about to happen to this young guy, and I don't even think he envisioned that. Since the age of 14, I've never been unemployed a day in my life. When I think about James Bennett, I really think about what Dr. Martin Luther King said. He said, life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you gonna do for others? James Bennett has answered that call. His whole life is an illustration of servant leadership. I met James many years ago when he was a student at the University of South Carolina. When I first came to the Urban League, he called me. And he said something as simple as this in our conversation, in our conversation. If you ever need anything, call me. And I called him. And he answered the call. James uh, had enough initiative to reach out to people. So I think his whole life has been about reaching out, trying to find common ground, trying to do what he can to help others. America is not great uh, because it is more enlightened than any other nation, but rather because it has always been able to repair its faults. Now that, to me, is what James has uh, always been about. Understanding what it is uh, that makes this country great. James is a bridge builder. He is collaborative and he's inclusive in all of this thought process. He's reaching back and helping uh, others who can't help themselves. And he has always had on his mind creating a better place for someone else. What also dawns on me when I think about James Bennett is that he's always positive. It's never, what's the problem? It's, what is the opportunity that we have here before us? So back in late 2005, early 2006, I guess right after Hurricane Katrina, it became obvious in our community that we really were at a crisis point with homelessness. And I know that James was, was strongly uh, involved in trying to address what we needed to do. He worked with Jim Lehman, Mac Bennett. Mac Bennett, uh, John Folsom, myself, and a couple of others. And so that was the, the start of the birth of the idea of how we handle homelessness in Columbia. You know, this is the 10th year anniversary for Transitions, so we've come a long way and we've helped so many people be able to rehabilitate, to be able to get back on their feet, to become contributing citizens, and it's just been absolutely wonderful. James was the board chair of Claflin, um, and he was on a search committee that hired me in 2019. A supporter of historically black colleges and universities, uh, certainly having served on the board of Claflin University for many, many years, he certainly demonstrated through time, talent, and treasure his commitment to these valuable institutions. I would have to say that I'm particularly impressed uh, with his work at Claflin University. He brought Claflin through probably, I would say, the most remarkable times in 150 year history. And despite the fact that he serves on the board at Claflin University, he has been no less willing to support and assist Benedict College as we've sought to expand our footprint uh, throughout this community. He is mission driven, and so he has the ability to pick up the phone and say, hey, call this person here to be able to help you move through this piece. Throughout my life, somebody always helped me. And so that's always been the motivation in me 
to make sure that I do for others as others have done for me. Congratulations, James Bennett. You continue uh, to make this country uh, great. On behalf of Benedict College, its trustees, staff, faculty, student, and 18,000 proud alumni, we wish to express our sincere congratulations and thanks to you for all you do. You are truly the humanitarian of the year. Oh, James Bennett, I love you. <laughs> and I am so proud of you. And it has been a privilege to work with you side by side for all of these years as you have continued to make a difference. And a person of goodwill is one who contributes to society, who takes on change and brings on action and makes our community a better place. James is a person of goodwill. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. And there's a uh, old hymn uh, in the Baptist church that we sing. When it's all over said and done, if folks would just say, may the work I've done speak for me. <laughs>